Good morning, School of the Osage. I'm here with another Student of the Day podcast. Today's senior we're interviewing is Miss Matt Collins. How are you, Matt? I'm good, Caleb. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for joining me this morning. Of course. Thank you for having me. Oh, yes. So, Matt, what have you been involved in here at School of the Osage for all the years you've been here for quite a while? You've been you've had your name plastered on some things. Oh, what are goodness. those? Okay, so, yeah, I moved here my sophomore year, and I play volleyball, and... I'm involved with cadet teaching and educators rising because I want to be a teacher. Um, and then right now I'm involved in senior assassin, so that's super fun. Ooh. Um, yeah. Who are you assigned for senior assassin? That's a secret. Oh, okay. That is a secret. I can't let them know. Okay. Even Have... though they might know. Ooh. Well, know. we'll find out in a few in a few days or hours even. That's if I get them out. Ooh. Who has assigned to you? Do you know? That's a secret too. I can't say. Do you know? Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, y'all better watch out. Yeah. He's Everyone not better me. watch out. Shoot. Mm-hmm. Well, don't bring that in school. So. Oh yeah, no water guns in school. Nope. No, no thanks. Not no on thanks. school property. <laughs> <laughs> so for cadet teaching, you said you wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. What do you want to teach? Um, kindergarten. Oh. It's my favorite, but I'll do anywhere from like preschool to third grade. Okay, we love yeah. kindergarten teachers oh, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. My kindergartners are so cute. That's awesome. Love. Who do you um help out? The, I help the, out with Miss Steckline over at the Heritage. The Heritage, that's what I was looking yes, for. Yes, it's so, so fun. I that's love fun. Her. Oh, I love Miss Steckline. I know. She's so cute. And her daughter's awesome, too. Oh, yeah, I love Marissa. She's awesome. <laughs> and so for volleyball, were you involved in volleyball freshman year at your old school? Yeah, so I was involved my freshman year at my old school. It was not as fun as it is at Osage, though. Mm-hmm. So a lot of politics involved at my old school. So this Ooh. is this was like a breath of fresh air, and I loved it. I bet. Yeah. I bet. How long have you been in volleyball since then? Since I moved. Or like before or, before freshman year. Oh gosh, I've been playing since I was probably nine or ten. Oh wow! I've been playing for a while. That's you know, awesome. Doing bitty camps and yeah, getting on travel teams and everything else. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And so how did senior year feel for volleyball? Senior year was crazy. Um, yeah, it was just, like, wild, actually. Like, it came to an end so fast. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you never know when your last game is. Mm-hmm. And, like, I played travel volleyball, too. And I got hurt this season, and I couldn't play my last two tournaments, so that was, like, crazy. Oh. It was like, oh, my gosh, you never, you really never know when it's your last time to step on the court or on the field or anything like that. Right. So enjoy every moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome, though. Yeah. But how do you feel you did? I feel like I did pretty well. Good. You know. Good. I've been playing since I was just a little kid, so. Right, right. That's all that matters. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And so being involved in cadet teaching, what, uh, like, what hour do you get here? So I don't get here normally until fourth hour is my okay. first class here, but I have cadet teaching over at the Heritage second hour. Mm. So I just go from my house to cadet teaching. Oh, that's awesome. And then I come here fourth hour. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. And so having that, like, busy morning schedule and waking up and going there and being involved in volleyball and even senior assassin, how have those things affected your life? Yeah. So sports, obviously, I play volleyball and softball, and they just keep, I mean, they keep me out of trouble, right? Like, keeping your schedule busy keeps you out of trouble. So those have really just, like, taught me a lot of life lessons, like getting to play with a team, getting to have to understand how to communicate with coaches and everything else like that. It's just taught me a lot of like life lessons that I'll use forever. And Senior Assassin, well, that's just been fun, and I just love to sneak up on people, so it's all been really fun. You that's know, awesome. Like your own little FBI agent. Right? <laughs> that's so fun. Oh, yeah. It's all been awesome. So. Yeah, and you get to come up with your own plan. Oh, yeah. And it's like hardcore planning. Like you got to know where the person's at, when, she, when they're going to be off, wherever they're at, you know, you got to make sure it's not at work, got to make sure it's not at school, right. you got all these different rules you got to think about, Right. but yeah, the planning has been really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, and you have to watch out for your target too, so like if you're going to get someone, you got to watch out for your target coming right behind you, because you never know when they're showing up. That's true. Like, the, the target that's trying to get me is trying to show up to my house. Ooh. Yeah, it's getting real. Ooh, got to stay away, put those goggles on. Oh, I slept with them on last night. Oh, okay, so you think they were going to come in the middle of the night. I mean, you never know. That's true. You never know. That's true. You never know. And you can take that goofiness for when you're, like, a kindergarten teacher, too. Messing with those teachers. Yeah, like, I can literally 
still act like I'm a senior in high school when I teach. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's so fun, yeah. So, yeah, so being, taking out goofiness and when you want to be a teacher, where do you plan on going after high school to gain those knowledges? Yeah, so I'm going to Westminster College in Fulton, mm -hmm. and I'm going to continue my education, but I'm also going to be playing softball, so I get to oh, do sweet. some sports and some education, just the best of both worlds. So that's going to keep me really busy, but I'm really looking forward to it. Awesome. Yeah. Have you done softball before? I have. I do softball. I'm actually just starting my travel season now. Okay. So I've done softball since I was, like, mm, young. Like okay. Like, eight or nine is when I first started. Mm -hmm. And in Ohio, my dad used to coach me, so that was always really fun. But when we moved here, I was like, mm, enough with dad. Let's get an actual coach who can help me with college and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah. Right. Did you never do softball here, just volleyball? I haven't played. I don't play for the school just because of the same seasons. But in That's Ohio, true. where I used to live, they're not in the same season. So I can oh. do both. So when I came here, it was like, whoa, I have to pick? That's crazy. So mm -hmm. volleyball got the best of me, but that's okay. I enjoyed it. That's awesome. So, yeah. And yeah. I, I travel softball, so I have softball still. There we go. And you're going to take that after high school. Yep. That's awesome. We can't wait to yeah. see you then. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then, to be there. <laughs> oh, and you'll be Miss Collins afterwards. Oh, that's so weird. Yes. That'd be so funny. <laughs> you're going to tell your students, just call me Mac, guys. Just yeah. call me Mac. Like Miss Mac. Like Miss Mary. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Well, because my middle name is Mary. Oh, that'd be so cute. Miss Mary Mac. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That'd be so cute. I know. Well, what Max, thank you for joining me. Well, thank you for having me, Caleb. Of I course. I enjoyed it so much. Yes. You have a great rest of your morning, Max. You too. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs>